Hello all, Chris here. Apologies for the delay on this video. I've decided I'm going to take a slightly different approach um, going forward than I originally had planned. Uh, when I started making this series, I thought I was just going to go through the Atlas and tutorials and teach Git from a kind of fundamentals level, but it occurs to me that uh, many of you watching this just kind of want to get some work done. So what I'm going to do today is detail the Git workflow I prefer, that I will call the authoritative workflow for feature branches and uh, rebasing. And as I make the document that summarizes that workflow, I'm going to actually use it, uh, use that Git workflow, I should say, in the process. So what I have here is uh, a little demo repository, and inside of it, uh, you'll see there's a, a workflow file that's empty. And we're going to fill it out, and we're going to use good Git practices to do it. So to start with, if you pull a repository fresh, this is what you're going to probably uh, start with. Uh, git branch minus a to show everything. You're going to have uh, a dev and a master branch, and you're going to get the master branch by default. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is check out the dev branch, and then create some commits from it, or rather create a feature branch from it. So we are going to do git checkout minus b, and we're going to call our branch Chris workflow. Uh, and inside of this, we're going to start making our our changes. So if I edit the workflow, I'm going to say uh, the authoritative git uh, workflow. Okay, so to start, create a feature branch. So we're going to do git checkout dev, git checkout minus b, uh, your user, and then a description of that branch. And then we're going to uh, set the upstream with git push minus you, uh, origin, user, description. Okay, so that's enough to get us started so we can start doing regular git stuff. Uh, let's make that commit. Oh, well, let's do that, and let's make that commit. So git push minus u, origin, Chris workflow. There we go. That sets the upstream. So now we need to get status. This is how you can check that it's working. It says you're on the branch, Chris workflow. Here we are. And we're up to date with origin, Chris workflow. This means we are tied to a... Uh, a remote branch, which is important if you want to do pushing. So the first thing we're going to do, git add dot, which is everything. Well, actually, no, git add workflow dot md, git commit uh, minus m, making a feature branch. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and push because why not? Okay, just saves our work out. Uh, then let's see, we actually have forgotten a step. The first thing you really should do is you should update remotes this is the first thing when you sit down. So you're going to run git fetch prune. This will delete any uh, branches other people have deleted for you, or rather, if they've deleted their own feature branch, let's say, um, this will delete it in your working copy. So we're going to do that. We're going to update our master and dev branches because they should stay clean all the time. Git checkout master, git merge, git checkout dev, git merge. So in doing this, uh, if there are updates, you'll get them. And if there aren't, this just won't do anything. So you can really, you can copy and paste that. Uh, don't be making changes in dev and master branch and don't get pull unless you're just trying to cause problems. Um, so let's go ahead and take care of that. So we will git add dot git commit minus m. So we will say updating remotes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push again. Now, Edit the workflow. Okay, so we fetch, we check out master and merge, we check out dev and merge, uh, we create a feature branch or check it out if we already have one. We don't have one. We already have one. Get check out user description. Okay, that'll get us on that branch. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to do our work. So, what do we mean by that? So, we are going to uh, well, here, we're going to say, uh, do the work related to the description on the branch. Then we're going to say, uh, whenever we, oh, I'm going to do the space again too much. Oh, no. Whenever logical unit work is complete, make a commit. And then we're going to say addendum. If you have to get up 
do something else. Make a commit. But put a word or two in that helps you get started again. Okay, so when we're doing that work, this is kind of like what we're doing now, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna do even a third way just to show you how to do this. Commit minus am. doing work okay so we're gonna do that push and then we're gonna edit the workflow again and we're gonna say uh, down here at the bottom push push frequently this gives you a remote copy of the work you are doing for backup or in case you want to share it with someone else. Okay, great. So now you've done your work. Um, what are you gonna do? Well, um, let's see. Uh, well, let's go ahead and commit that. Um, Notice all these commits have words in them. They are words that describe what we're doing. And at any time, we can git log and see what we've been doing. So if I had, um, you know, if I had to get up, I could come back to this repository and say, oh yeah, that's what I was doing, and pick up from that spot. Uh, let's see. So when we're done, when you're done. when you are done, or reasonable period of time has passed, days, one or two days. Uh, we're going to rebase our stuff. Uh, OK. Yeah, so we can do our, our pushing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our work to the end of the dev branch, and then we will um, go ahead and, and push that up for ourselves so that we always have a, a current version. This is like updating your branch. So what you want to do is update the remotes, get patch, prune. Then we're going to want to get rebase. Uh, origin slash dev and this will let us do any kind of work that we want to do in our commits so combine them or um, just even if we don't do anything and we just save at that command we're going to get on the end of the dev branch and we'll be ready to do our pushing uh, so I'm going to make a note here rebase command to combine commits or reorder them as necessary Or just get on the, or just pick up the latest commits to dev. Okay. So then uh, resolve conflicts as necessary. We're going to see some of those in just a minute. And then uh, force push your work Oops. to your local branch. Push minus fu origin, uh, and then this is user description. What we call that branch. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do get diff. See what we've changed. So this is just the one year done stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do get uh, add workflow. Get commit minus m. Um, Uh, okay, get push. Okay, uh, now let's see. Let's see that rebase command in action. And then I'm going to make a, an addendum to some previous stuff that we did just so we can see that demo too. Um, if I didn't already say it, don't copy and paste this until we get to the end so you can see what kind of what we're doing. So if I do git fetch, 
order in case I had updates. I know no one else is working on this repository, so I don't have any. But we're going to do it anyway. Uh, git rebase minus i, origin dev. These are our commits so far. Making a feature branch, updating your modes, descriptions of work, adding, and then rebasing in force push. So I know for a fact that uh, really the first thing we wanted to do was update the remote. So I'm going to put that first. So there it is. I just reorder the commits in here. And then uh, when I save this, Git will try to do our rebase operation on the end of dev. So I'm going to save it. And it's going to say, hey, you have conflicts. Uh, that's not really a big deal. All you have to do is open a file. And in here, you'll see um, the equal signs and greater than and less than signs. We just have to make the revision look like what we actually want it to look like. Um, so in this case, head had nothing, and then I put in uh, authoritative reviews and stuff. Um, it's because uh, this update remotes wasn't there to begin with, and now it is. So I'm going to get rid of that. Oops. So there we go. Now I'm going to save. Okay. And then get status. It'll tell you what to do. It says, hey, both of these things were modified. Uh, fix the conflicts, which we did. Then uh, run git rebase continue. But to mark it as... Uh, complete what we have to do is actually add the file so uh, and it says that down here at the bottom it says you know to mark resolution go ahead and add it so we're going to git add workflow.md and then we're going to git rebase continue and then we're going to have one more of these because it's going to be on the other uh, the next commit to fix that um, of course it shows you what it's working on down here and all this stuff with the the pound sign so let's see if i do that now we're on the next one and we just have to do the same thing again edit the workflow document and this time, this is going to show uh, kind of what, what we uh, were wanting to have. So we're going to get rid of that. And that's the state of the file that we would like to preserve. So I'll save it, git add workflow, git rebase, continue. OK, so now it's done. So if I do a git log, you'll see now what it says. If we start from origin master here at the bottom, it says the first thing is updating remotes, describing the work, adding descriptions, rebasing your work, and force pushing. So uh, the one thing that I would say is if you're doing a lot of these in serial, um, you know, periodically you're going to want to go through and combine them logically, which is what we already were saying in the workflow commit, I think. So let's look and read what we wrote. So we said whenever you're done or a reasonable period has passed, I guess I'm going to change and not say one or two days. I'm just going to say a reasonable period to you. Maybe that's a couple hours. Um, we just don't want to live in this branch forever. The thing is it's a feature branch. We're making a feature. When the feature is done, it goes back to dev. Um, so we're going to just do this stuff one more time and then I'm gonna make a couple of tune-ups um, to, to demo some other other stuff so did, what did I do here oh right I deleted that okay so get uh, there so this is gonna be uh, what is that it's a fix up uh, need a little unnecessary text okay so uh, one of the things we didn't do last time, we did that rebase operation, we didn't force push. This is the message you get. It says, hey, uh, we have a divergence here. There's you know five and five different commits each. It's because we reordered the commits and it looks different from the remote. Uh, this scares some people, it shouldn't. Um, we were working on the branch and we knew we were. So we have to do this force push to tell Git that we wanna just prefer our local changes. So what we're gonna do, git push minus fu uh, origin, and then we're gonna do Chris workflow. And what it's going to do then is it's going to make our remote match exactly what we have here. But now we're going to rebase again. So we can do this as many times as we want. Well, I guess if we're going to follow the exact logic, we're going to fetch again here. Just in case anyone tries to sneak in a commit on dev or something like that. Okay, so now we're going to do, uh, we're just going to squash these commits together. So S is for squash. It tells you down here what the commands are. Um, really... The only ones you're probably going to need are pick, squash, and fix up. To that end, I'm going to change this to a fix up. And all that does is it just says whether or not you want to edit the commit messages. Um, so then when I save this, Git's going to work on it. It's going to say, uh, OK, here are the commits you're trying to combine. And I'm just going to make a note. So I'm going to say uh, preliminary Git workflow draft. OK. And then I'm going to use uh, the kind of default structure for creating sub messages this way. Um, so two spaces and then an asterisk, and then you can do your space, whatever, and then it shows up really nicely in the log. Um, we'll see that in just a minute. So let's see. Um, there we go. And then rebase your work and force push. Okay. So now, again, if I get status, it's going to tell me it diverged. I know. 
shoot, okay, git push, minus fu, origin chris works well. Okay, so now if I git log on this, what you'll see is that I now have a really nice thing that shows master and it shows all the work that we've done so far. Um, one thing that I didn't put in here that I kind of want to uh, put in is how to do adding with um, the, the interactive add command. So let's go make some more changes. Workflow.md. So here we are, we update the remotes, we check out a feature branch. If you already have one, you do it. We do the work and then we say push frequently uh, and we're gonna say also use interactive adding to create logical patches. And then let's see, so then when, when we're done with this or a reasonable time has passed, we're gonna do this rebase. Um, then we're gonna do done merge to dev and clean up okay so what is that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all the stuff we do with the rebase we're gonna get check out dev get merge um, we're gonna do get merge uh, user underscore description then we're gonna put our uh, so this is this is merged all of our changes for this feature into dev then we need to push it and then we need to, um, well, actually, before we push, we're going to go ahead and clean up the other uh, other branches too. So we're going to do git branch minus d user dis uh, description. That's the one. And then we're going to delete the remote. Git push minus minus thing. Delete origin user description. And then we're going to git. Uh, git push. So if you don't do that, if you don't do this last step, what's going to happen is Git's going to tell you that it can't push to your user branch because you may or may not have force pushed. Oh, we, we already said force push though. So, that, so it's fine to do this in any order. You could do these and then this or this and then these. So um, I think this order is, is probably fine. Um, and then you have backups for posterity. If you don't want to you know, delete them and you just want to hang on to them to make sure everything goes, then, then just uh, kind of don't do that yet. Okay, so now, oops, so now what are we going to do? Uh, I'm going to show you that interactive add, which I recommend you use. Okay, so if I do git add um, minus i, this gives you a neat little menu. Um, update, revert, and add on track. Usually update is the one that you're going to want to use or add on track for doing whole files. I personally recommend you always use patch. Uh, and then you pick which files you were working on or which ones you want to pull commits out of. So I'm just going to say one, and then when you're done, you just press enter. And here you are, and it's going to say, use interactive adding to create logical patches. Uh, yes, we want that one. And then no, we don't want this yet because this is a different piece of logic. So we'll just say no and then uh, quit. So now when you do git status, well, here we are. If you do git diff, it'll show you anything you haven't staged, which is our next commit. And git diff, oops, cached will show you what we're ready to commit. So we'll say uh, git commit minus m. Uh, a note on interactive adding. So there's that. And then we'll do uh, diff, let's make sure. Okay, so we'll say git uh, commit minus am, and we'll say um, dev and cleanup. There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and push, because why not? Now I'm going to do git rebase minus i origin dev, and we're going to put these things together the way that we want them. Um, so actually, we want both of these things, but this, this I know, I don't actually care about the, the text there. Um, it's just like basically part of the previous commit. So we'll do a fix up and then we're going to squash this. So then Git's going to come in here and because we have uh, used squash nicely, all we have to do is, um, you know, put our commit messages together and now we have one really nice commit. Okay, so here we are, uh, git push minus fu, origin chris workflow. Uh, let me just double check that that's done. So what are we doing? Okay, we update the remotes, fetch prune. Uh, we check out master and dev and merge them up. We go to dev and create a feature branch. Okay, we check out the feature branch if, uh, if there was one that already existed. If you run this twice, it doesn't matter. You're always already going to be on it. Um, we do the work 
and we push frequently um, because then we can go back and, and kind of add them together. I should also say um, when you're done and you're doing this rebase stuff, if you don't want to commit, you just delete it from that file and it goes away. Um, and then I'm going to do one other thing here. I'm going to say, uh, okay, if you don't like the way your rebase smells, you can delete the contents of the uh, rebase prompt file and save to abort. Or if you have conflicts you don't know what to do with, you can run, let me do it this way, git rebase minus minus abort, and this will let you get back. Of course, as long as you've done any of this force pushing stuff or pushing in general, um, you've got a backup on the remote, so you can always just delete the branch and check it out again. Uh, I will put a note of that for that at the bottom. Um, let's see, we'll put it here. If you're a rebase, you can always do git checkout dev git branch minus d uh, always do git checkout dev git branch minus d user description git checkout user description okay and then that will create you a clean copy of your branch and you can just dive right back in here okay git merge git delete git push okay and that's the end so let's do um, diff okay so we'll Base commands git. Uh, what is name? Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, git add minus d. Why not? So this will show you everything for all of your files. Um, and we'll just say yes, we want to add that thing. We'll say git commit minus m. Notes on rebasing. All right. And then we're going to git push. Git rebase minus i origin dev. Squash that. We'll say. Well, really, we don't need that because you know, we just assume that people would have probably put notes in there from the beginning, so we're just going to delete that. Um, and then we'll save it, and now we're done. Git push minus fu, origin source workflow. And now we get to do the cleanup part. Uh, git fetch, prune to update dev. Git checkout dev. Git merge. There's nothing there. Git merge, uh, et cetera, oh, Chris workflow. Bang, there it is. Git branch minus d. Chris, well, actually, you can even use little d. That's safe. Uh, well, just follow my commands. <laughs> Chris, workflow. Okay. And then we are going to do git push, delete, origin, Chris, workflow, git push. And so now, if I run uh, git branch minus a, we are clean. So dev now contains in the log our updated um, preliminary workflow draft. Master is where it is. Usually you're not going to be the one that makes patches to master, so don't worry about that. Uh, and that's how you do this workflow. Guarantee that your commits are uh, kind of organized the way you want, that they're right, descriptive, and um, that whoever is working with you is going to be happy that uh, you, know, you don't have 50 commits and um, you, know, you, you kind of have demonstrated you know what you're doing. So that's all. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.